part two of the top seven Moroccan players to break through this year. The new and next Idrisi or the next uh, Ziesis. Ziesis. The Eshesses, I don't know what the plural is, just coming up, watch the whole thing, see you later. Salam <laughs> alaikum soccer rockets out there. My name is Yusuf, welcome back. It's Sunday, so it's a new episode of Soccer Rocco. Part two of the top seven rocket players to break through this year. We're gonna talk about teams like uh, this one right here. Uh, I hope you know it. If you don't, you're totally missing out. But before we jump right in, subscribe to this channel, click the bell because you don't want to miss anything. A new video every Sunday. Let's go. Okay, player number one, just jump right in. Uh, Sufyan Rahimi from Raja Casablanca. He's 24 years old, a left winger, uh, winger of Raja Casablanca, born and raised in Casablanca, so represent. He scored incredible nine goals in 28 games, came up with seven assists. Uh, scored important goals in the Confederation Cup against uh, AS Vita Club, the Congolese team. So I guess that's what made him ha um, very, very famous. So Rahimi, great striker. Check him out. I believe in that man. Plus, I'm a Raja Casablanca fan, so that's how you do, right? Before we move on to player number two, it's very important for you to stick around right to the end because there's going to be an important bonus info just for you so stick around thank you okay player number two i'm wearing a french shirt so talking about a french moroccan player basically moroccan player but he's playing in france his name is naif agirt naif agirt yeah that's his name 24 years old from knetra played at darbat uh passes youth career at mohammed c's academy and now he got signed at stadren He's a nice defender. He came from Dijon and um, it's an important career step for him because with this French League 1 team, he's going to play in the Champions League next year, inshallah. So huge step for him and I hope we can see him on the Moroccan national team if he keeps evolving and developing as a player. But let's talk about his strength real quick. Well, first of all, Stade Rennes got him from Dijon for 5 million euros, which I guess is a huge deal for a player like him, but um, yeah, as I said, a, mo a very important huge and huge step for him to evolve. And his strengths, he's very great at aerial duels, blocking, ball interception, and playing great passes. And yep, you can see that Moroccan technically gifted gameplay he's doing. Check him out, just look at this man. Look right at you. If you got a question or um, a player you want me to talk about is missing, write it in the comments below and let's just discuss. I'm, I'm going to answer everything you're writing down. Thank you very much. Azed Agma, player number three, Mohamed Tabouni, 18 years old. 18 years old, incredible. I don't even remember being 18. So, young guy, mashallah alayhi tabarakallah. Mohamed Tabouni passed his um, youth academy at one of the best academies in the world, in my opinion, in the football world, Azad Alkma. So uh, he was born in Harlem, so he knows that area. And he made it to the uh, senior team of Azad Alkma just right now. Great midfielder. He was promoted uh, from young or young, young Azad to the senior team of Azad just this year. So first of all, congratulations. And I mentioned you in this list because this is going to be your year, inshallah, Mota Abuni. Let's talk about his strengths. So, he's small. Super small. He's fast. He got brilliant technique. He's like uh, that cheeky little tiny fella who's going to de uh, destroy your defense. I promise you this is going to happen. So, on a slot, uh, great coach. I believe that he's going to give him uh, several chances to shine. So, great team, great coach, great player, Mota Abuni. Wish you all the best. Thank you. Player number four, Case Ruiz Atil. I hope I pronounced your name uh, correctly, but yeah. 17 years old, youngin, that's crazy, playing for uh, that small, I don't know if you know that team, Ligue 1 uh, team. It's, uh, I guess it's Paris, Paris Saint Germain. You know that team, I don't know, just check it. Uh, he's a midfielder, born in Lyon, made his first, first steps at PSG, 
in the youth uh, academy. He was recruited, at least they wanted to, he was recruited by FC Barcelona when he was seven years old, which is totally nuts in my opinion, but yeah. That what happened, that transfer was cancelled because it's illegal to sign underage player like that, which, yeah, definitely the right thing to do in my opinion. But yeah, that transfer didn't go well, so he went straight to Paris Saint-Germain in the year 2018. And yeah, he's been, he's been playing there ever since, playing alongside great players like Mbappé. What more can I say? Uh, dude is technically gifted, great player, got that street football mentality. It's, it looks like he, he's been playing on that P Paris uh, street every day. So uh, I think that player is uh, having a bright future ahead of him, inshallah. Uh, if he doesn't get pushed too much, if you know what I'm talking about. Some players break if he get uh, if they get too much media attention, but I believe that he's in, a, in the right hands, on the right team, with the right coach, with the right players. Inshallah, guys, Ruiz, Hetil, wish you all the best. Soccer Rocco supporting you all the way. Thank you very much. Player number five, Yassin Ben Rahu, 21 years old, playing for uh, Nîmes in uh, Ligue 1 in France. He's a midfielder. Uh, signed his first professional contract for Bordeaux and joined Nîmes, uh, yeah, just two months ago. So congratulations! And um, he's gonna stay there at least with a three-year contract, but whatever that means uh, today. He has a Moroccan father, Algerian mother. Used to play as a youth international for the France national team but he joined the Moroccan under 20s in 2018. Maybe that's another guy who uh, Vahid Halil Hocic could put on his list. Let's see what happens, but um, I'm gonna watch him this season. I'm not a huge fan of the French league, I must admit, but uh, Yassine Ben Rahu is uh, definitely one I'm gonna be watching, so you should be as well. Player number six, Zekaria the man. Are you fucking kidding me? Lebiet, 27 years old, offensive attacking midfielder of Ajax Amsterdam. That's why I'm wearing this beautiful old vintage looking uh, Ajax kit that I'm very proud of. Have you seen what happened in that friendly game against Utrecht? I mean, that, bo that boy is uh, originally from Utrecht and used to play there, but he destroyed Utrecht. He was the best man on the pitch, hands down. Three incredible goals. Especially the, those free kicks. Are you kidding me? I don't want to. I have a foul mouth. I'm sorry. But Zekaria Lebiet, this is the beginning of a new era for that man. Uh, maybe he's going to be replaced in Ziyech on that team. That's what I believe. And definitely a new option for the Moroccan national team. In my opinion, Zekaria Lebiet, I'm a huge fan of you. Wish you all the best, inshallah. Tabarakallah <sighs> Zek the man. Holy moly. Player number seven, dude, I could mention zillions of more players who are about to break through, such as Kerim El Berkawi from Agadir, striker, or Sufyan Kiyin from Lazio Rome, or Eamon Barkouk from Eintracht Frankfurt. But I decide to throw that thing away because everybody is very important for you. Listen closely. Um, do not forget the real heroes who are playing Filhuma, Filmgrev, Fstah, somewhere at the beach. Uh, some tiny little heroes, that's why I'm presenting this one for you. And uh, support them, don't forget them. Maybe there's a new talent somewhere hiding just in Morocco in some small village. And I truly believe in that. And that's how I want to wrap this up. Thank you very much for watching. Wish you all the best. Tabarakallah alaykum,